Today's session is about adding the same number for grade 1. And these are the learning goals. I can use objects or pictures to find the total number of items in groups of the same size. I can relate repeated addition to multiplication. Okay, how many groups of fruits are there? Great, there are three groups of fruits and each group has two fruits. So we can say that 2 plus 2 plus 2 equals 6. And when you say 3 twos, right, 3 groups of 2, that is equal to 6. So 3 groups of 2 is equal to 6. So there are 6 fruits all together. Alright. Okay. Now, your addition sentence for this illustration now will be 2 plus 2 plus 2 equals 6. And the multiplication sentence is 3 times 2 equals 6. 3 because there are 3 groups, right? And 2 because there are 2 objects in each group or in each set. And then 6. That is the total number of fruits. Okay, let's have another example. Let's fill in the blanks. There are blank groups. How many groups can you see? Great, there are three groups. And each group has... How many shapes can you see? Great, three. Three 3D shapes. Three dimensional shapes. So, what is our addition sentence? Alright, 3 plus 3 plus 3 equals 9. So, 3 threes is equal to 9. Very good. Alright, now let's complete these two. Blank groups of 3. How many groups? 3 groups of 3 and the total is? Nine. So there are nine 3D shapes all together. Okay? So our addition sentence, 3 plus 3 plus 3 equals 9. And our multiplication sentence? Correct. 3 times 3 equals 9. Again, 3 because there are 3 groups. And then times 3 because there are 3 objects, or there are 3 3D shapes in each group. And the total is 9. Alright, okay, let's have this another example. How many groups can you see? Great, there are 2 groups. And each group has how many pens? 5, very good. So our addition sentence will be 5 plus 5 equals 10. Alright, and 2 fives, that means it's equal to 10. Okay, very good children. Alright, let's have this again. Let's complete these two blank groups of 5. How many groups? 2. 2 groups of 5 equals 10. So there are 10 pens in all. Okay, and this is the addition sentence. 5 plus 5 equals 10. Multiplication sentence. 2 times 5 equals 10. Again, 2 there is the number of groups. And 5 there is the number of objects in each group. And equals 10 because there are 10 pens in all. That's the total. So that's the product, the answer in multiplication. And the numbers that we multiply, 2 and 5, are what we call factors. Okay, children? Now, what can you say about the relationship of multiplication to addition? Are they related? Yes, they are related, right? As you can see, the multiplication is... Can we, can, we can say that multiplication is repeated 
addition. You can check your answer in multiplication by doing addition like 2 times 5 equals 10. You can put 5 plus 5 equals 10. They are the same, right? So they are related to each other because multiplication is repeated addition. Okay? Alright, children, you can have this hands-on activity. You can try this in your house. So for your station A, you get five plates, put three objects on each plate, any objects that you have in the house, available in the house, then complete this. Okay? Alright? And then you can also have another station. This time, use six plates and put two objects on each plate. Okay, you can practice. Alright, so that's it for today. I hope you learned something about our lesson, addition, or adding the same number that shows multiplication too, right? Okay, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening again with Teacher Angel. And please don't forget to subscribe and hit that all notification bell so that you will be updated. And also please give it a like or a thumbs up. It means a lot. Bye! God bless you all!